from the bizarre owl man to momo the missouri monster here are 10 mythical beasts that might exist welcome to crypto fun fridays Chichani. This owl-like creature has been sighted in the forest of Andros Island in the Bahamas. It's a big flightless bird that stands around five feet tall. Most accounts describe it as furry and or feathered with an ugly appearance. It is said that if a traveler meets one of these birds, they'll receive good luck, providing they treat the animal well. If they treat the bird badly, expect bad luck and hard times. Scholars think this creature could be related to Titopollens, a flightless species of barn owl native to Andros Island, which stood around three feet tall. It was said to survive in the 16th century until settlers entered the forest. But sightings of the Chichani are still reported to this day. Number nine. Wendigo. This creature is described as a cannibalistic monster or evil spirit native to the northern forests of the Atlantic coast from the U.S. into Canada and is associated with cold winter weather. It's said the Wendigo can appear as a monster with human characteristics or as a spirit that possesses a human and makes them become monstrous. It's described as a gaunt, ashy gray creature that can stand some 14 feet tall. In effect, a giant living skeleton that gives off a foul odor of decay. Most accounts agree the beast have glowing eyes, long tongues, and fearsome yellow fangs. According to legend, Wendigos were formerly human, but when a human resorts to cannibalism, they transform into a Wendigo. Some cryptozoologists have theorized that stories of this creature may have been inspired by sightings of Bigfoot. Number eight. The Kraken. This creature was first mentioned in a 13th century Icelandic saga, and its initial description more closely resembled a whale or crab than a squid. Some of the traits ascribed to the creature include sudden dangerous currents, the appearance of new islets, and bubbling water, signs associated with undersea volcanic activity in the Iceland region. Later, the Kraken's description more closely aligned with that of a giant octopus and was often seen by fishermen off the coasts of Norway and Greenland. Although it's a mythical creature, the kraken is thought by many to have been inspired by sailors' sightings of giant squid, which can grow to sizes of 43 feet. Did you know a living giant squid was not seen in its natural habitat until 2006? Number 7. Tetzelworm. It's also known as the Alps Dragon and has been reported in many countries of Europe, including Switzerland, Italy, and other places in the European Alps for hundreds of years. Descriptions of the creature vary, but it's commonly said to resemble a lizard snake-like creature completely covered in scales and measures between 7 to 10 feet long. It has two front legs but no rear limbs. Some accounts claim the creature has a cat-like face. The first recorded sighting of the Tetzelworm was in 1779. Claims of sightings continued through the centuries, as did photographs and claims of physical proof of the creature. In 2000, the skeleton of a purported Tetzelwurm was donated anonymously to the Geneva Institute. It's said to be the first physical proof of the creature that is authentic. Many reports of the beast surfaced in 2009 near the Italian-Swiss border and were thought to be rogue monitor lizards that escaped their owners. Certain theories suggest the creatures might be some species of salamander but its description seems to match that of the Gila monster, although those lizards are not indigenous to the Alps. Sightings of the creature are still reported today. Number six. Chechenya, another cryptid in the mold of Bigfoot, it's rumored to hail from Siberia. This one is said to be covered with dark hair and stands up to seven feet tall. Some accounts include the creatures having tails. They're said to occasionally dine on human flesh, which is different from the Almas to whom they're often compared. Almas are described more as cavemen who use tools. A Chechenya was allegedly killed by hunters in 1957 and the body taken to the city of Yakutsk, where it disappeared. Although there have been occasional alleged sightings of this creature, including one in 1985 by a British anthropologist, no physical evidence has actually been uncovered, leaving us with only unverified eyewitness accounts. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Number 5. 
Champ. The beast of Lake Champlain is kind of like the US version of the Loch Ness Monster. Champ is said to inhabit the lake, which is shared by New York and Vermont. There have been over 300 reported sightings of Champ, dating back to when Native American tribes ruled the region. The first sightings by a European date to 1609. Depending on the account, the monster is anywhere from 5 feet to over 180 feet long. Sightings of Champ include the creature being captured on film and video, but those images have never been authenticated. Cryptozoologists think Champ might be a sturgeon or a gar, both of which exist in Lake Champlain and might fit the image of a horned serpent, as Champ has been described. Another explanation is also offered that Champ is a plesiosaur-type creature that time forgot, not unlike speculation concerning Nessie. Number 4. Now this image was submitted to us by one of our fellow cryptid specialists for identification. However, we have not been able to make a positive ID from this picture. We think it could be some sort of marine animal, and in fact some of us have theorized that this just might be a photograph of the Loch Ness Monster. The picture does appear to depict a creature within an aquatic environment. You can see what appears to be flippers on either side of the creature's body as well. The longer, slender form stretching toward the right could be its neck, if that's not stretching things too thin. What do you think it is? Number 3. Orang Bati. According to Indonesian folklore, these are flying creatures that seem to exhibit the characteristics of bats and apes. In fact, they've been referred to as orangutans with wings. They're said to inhabit the island of Serum and are known to raid villages at night to abduct children, which they later eat. Natives say the creatures are about five feet tall, with blood-red skin, black, leathery wings, and a long tail. These creatures seem to bear a resemblance to the Ahul, flying primates that inhabit Java and Vietnam. Like the Ahul, some researchers think the Orangbati sound like they could be living pterosaurs, although the flying reptiles are thought to have gone extinct long ago. It's also possible that either creature could be a misidentified large flying fox. That's the largest bat in the world. Number 2. Momo the Monster. The easiest way to describe this creature would be the Bigfoot of Missouri. In fact, the name Momo is a contraction of Missouri Monster. The creature was first reported in 1971 in the city of Louisiana, Missouri. Witnesses claimed it wandered up and down the Mississippi River and had a black furred body and a pumpkin-shaped head with hair covering its eyes. Because the eyes appeared lizard-like, it was speculated that Momo might carry reptilian DNA. Standing around seven feet tall, the creature was bipedal and said to emit a foul stench, leading some cryptozoologists to link the creature with the skunk ape. In 1972, tracks thought to belong to Momo were found and analyzed by the director of the Oklahoma City Zoo, and his conclusion? The tracks were left by an unknown species of primate. Number 1. The Owl Man. This cryptid was first sighted in 1976 in Cornwall, England. Witnesses strolling through the woods claim to see a large winged creature hovering above a church tower. A few months later, campers in the woods near the Manin Church saw a figure that appeared like an owl, but was as large as a man. The creature had glowing red eyes and pointed ears. The feet were large, black, and had two huge toes. Its color was described as silver gray, and when it suddenly flew up into the air, it exposed black claw-like pincers. Sightings of the creature persisted from the late 1970s into the mid-90s, several of which occurred in the vicinity of the church. Researchers have theorized the owl man might actually be a rogue Eurasian eagle owl. That species is known to grow over two feet tall and has a wingspan of almost six feet. They have a range of some 32 million square kilometers, and they have two large toes that point forwards and back. 